looked it's like um 4 30 a.m in the morning i just reassessed the dow chart it's a five minute chart the market rebound slash down this is a tremendous amount of sellers and soon it went through a range when the market opened it just went down first chop up down chop up redistribute this is the key part right guys this is the key part that the market shows you very bearish signals and after when you redistribute it sold down now you redistribute because it touched the floor and then from here on the market crashed right so can you see i shorted um some contracts near the floor here shorted some contracts near the floor here and soon the market just tumbled down big time right so there's a lot of uh, demand but there's three times more supply in the market than the current demand that you see all right that is why i was so bearish in the market today and um look at this the profits are escalating uh the market just opened for a short while more can you see the market just opened so profits are escalating um i'm just gonna lock in some great profits now just gonna close my position all right i'm just gonna close the position all right give you a minute all right so from this chart, we learned that supply is overpowering and it's taking over demand. And hence, um, I chose to lock in profits more than um, swing the trade because in the overall big picture, if I look at the chart again, can you see, before we look at the chart, we see what's the news that caused the market to sell down is because stocks, the Dow Jones get laid as vaccine optimism cools off um, I think the, the optimism for vaccine the other day was a little bit over too powering, over too much. And now they're saying that opti uh, the, the, the vaccine is not on its way and it gave some j jittery in the market and the market just sold down. And hence, I think it's wise to take profits, All right? I'm just going to lock in profits and call it a day, All right? Right, so I hope you learned something in this video. And as usual, before we trade, before we do anything, we would want to watch the supply and demand, watch where the big players, institutional players sell, and we want to follow these institutional players to sell stocks, all right? All right, so that's all for me. Um, another good night, another good night. And um, I'll look to end my day here and um, see you in the next video. Alright, bye.